Hello, today I am going to show you how to make a simple Red P game. So this tutorial is for people who like pretty much just downloaded Red P. They don't know how to use it and they need help. You're going to press create new object uh, project, but when you do that, it's not going to take you directly to this. It's going to, or it might, but eventually it's going to ask you something like this. And um, what this is asking is what do you want to use as your editor program? And I use JEdit because it's, I think it's easier than editor. I mean, use whichever one you want, but I'll be using JEdit today. Um, now, so create a new project. Uh, pick whichever one you want. I'll just be using this since it's what come up or came up. Uh, so then you, okay, let's actually, let's launch the project and I'll show you what is already in there. This is the thing. You've created a new Rempy game. Once you add a story, pictures, and music, you can release it to the world. So, the way that it did that was this. This is how you define your characters. See here, E equals the character Eileen, and here it says E says this, and that's why in the game it said Eileen said this. So, to make it personal, you're going to define your own characters, but today I'm just going to say define G equals character girl. And to keep it simple, that's all I'm going to do. So, that's like the simplest way you can just define a character. There's more ways you can make a character say something, but this is easy for characters, you know, that are going to be having a lot of dialogue and maybe the main characters. And also later, you can use this to get really advanced. But I'll show that later. Anyway, so girl is going to say... Hello, I'm girl. Then we're going to have another character named Bob. So we do the same thing. And we'll have Bob say, Hello, I'm Bob. Whoops. Maybe we have, well, here. Um, now, let's make, so this game is really simple. If we save this and launch the project, your game is, hello, I'm girl. Hello, I'm Bob. So, um, now, if you want to make, because some, like, kinetic novels, they don't have options. The whole thing is just a story that you watch. But most, like, visual novels, they have several endings and choices that make the story different. So you can play it over and over again, and each time it will be different. So the way they do that is adding menus. What this is is menu, uh, colon, space, or enter. And see how there's an indentation? That's important. Every time you have something, a statement with a colon, when you press enter, it's going to uh, indent on the next line. Now, the first option will be to say, Hey, Bob, you look nice today. And then you're going to put another colon because that's the option and so that when you go it indents again and you say jump bob looks nice and now what i said there is you're jumping to a label which like this label right here um it's a label where something different will happen than if you pick a different option you say hey bob you're dumb then jump, Bob is dumb. 
And you can name your labels whatever you want. I like to make them simple like that and easy to remember. So label Bob looks nice. Although when you're making a game, like a real, like a long game, you're gonna have a lot of labels and you might wanna make your labels uh, shorter names, like abbreviations and stuff, as long as you can remember them. So Bob looks nice. Bob is gonna say, why? Thank you, girl. Oops. Return. And lab and return. What return does is it returns you to the menu because the game is now over. So yeah, I know that was a really short game, but this is just for the purposes of a little tutorial, so it doesn't have to be really long. And if you say Bob is dumb, also notice for every label, I typed. I went back to here, but anyway. And then after the label, you type in exactly what you typed here, or the colon. So then Bob is going to say, "Excuse me," and then. This, so I'm not specifying who's saying this, so what's going to happen is it's not going to have the character's name. It's just going to say it, which is what I like to think of. It can be whatever you want in your game, but I like to think of it as the character's thoughts or what they are seeing. Bob walks away. Return. So, let's look at this game. Girl, hello, I'm girl. Hello, I'm Bob. Hey, Bob, you look nice today. Why, thank you, girl. And then now if you pay, hey, Bob, you're dumb. Excuse me, Bob walks away. See? Nice. Perfect. Now, to make this game look nicer, we're going to add in images. I have um, some sprites made. Um, okay. So these are my sprites. I'll put them here. Um, what you're gonna do is um, uh, you have pictures, and for so see how this is the background picture I'm going to use. You could use anything as a background, uh, but it has to be well. Later in a more advanced video, I'll show you how to customize your screen so that it can be any size you want. But what you need is no matter what size your screen is, you need the background to be the same size, obviously, so that it fits. And the default size is 800 by 600. So that's what you're going to want your thing to be. And obviously, I'm doing this on a Mac. So it'll be different for you if you're doing it on a Windows, but basically you take it into whatever editor you have, make sure that it's 800 by 600 pixels. And the resolution doesn't matter, so there you go. Or, yeah, I didn't actually change anything, so. Okay, so now, make sure to keep track of what these are named. You're gonna go into your Rempy file, and here, to find your game, you have to go and find the, fi the, the uh, file that has the exact same name as your game does. If you change the name of this, it's going to change the name of the, of the uh, game. So, so then you take these, put them in the game folder. The game folder is just inside game, put them in. So I have Charlie Sprite, Girl Sprite, and School Outside. And then watch here. I renamed it, and then that's what happened. So, in the script, uh, okay, so then what you do is you're going to declare your images. Uh, image, school, whoops, equals, then in your quotations you're going to type the exact name of the image. And make sure even the little, uh, whether it's a JPEG, PNG, or um, whatever type of picture it is, the format is important. 
let's see here I have uh, school outside JPEG and that's exactly what I typed here and so as long as you type it the same and it's in your game folder it will find it um, now Now I have all my images named. So when I say label start, I'm going to go scene, which is the background, school. Whoops, I keep doing that. Now, the background is going to be this image right here. And we're going to say show girl. Now the girl is going to be in the middle. And let's say show Bob. But if we say that, Bob is going to, the image of Bob is going to be overlapping the image of girl. So we need to either remove the image of the girl which we would do by saying hide girl or we can show Bob at either the right or the left. I'm going to show him at the right. So, um, now let's show you what this looks like. Hello, I'm girl. Hello, I'm Bob. You say, hey Bob, you look nice today. Bob, why thank you girl. And that's it. So, still a little more we could be doing. Um, and what that is, is we can add music to it. So, I'm just going to go into iTunes and just find whatever song and uh, just... Uh, find a just take the song pull it out onto your desktop you don't need to remove it from your thing you just copy it onto the desktop or wherever you need it then you go to your game folder just like you did before for your images so game. you take this and I'm just gonna remove the one because I don't know why that's there so and I'm not certain if you have to do this, but just in case it doesn't work, sometimes I'm going to put underscores. Now, in your game, you don't have to declare it anywhere. You just say, right up label start, or wherever you want it to start playing, you're going to say, play music. Or actually, I don't think you have to say music. Sorry. Play and then you type in the exact name sorry there now when you launch the project oh right sorry it does need to say music play music into the kill which is the title of the song and blah 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 so now when you start the game, it starts playing the music. And slow, girl, blah, 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 blah. And that's it. Now, if you want the music to stop, then wherever you want it to stop, like, say, if you want it to play different music at Bob Looks Nice, like, if you say, hey, Bob, you look nice today, if you stop music, and then pick a different song of yours that you want to play and then and if you want instead of it to play in for the kill you want it to play music feel good ink dot okay then that's what's going to play there. But if you want to play something else here, you're going to say stop music. I'm going to say play justice. Because these are the songs I picked. Obviously for you, they're going to be different. But now, it's going to be different. Because when we play it, it'll start with that music, and then the music will stop. Oh, right. Sorry. Remember to type music.
Hmm. So what this is saying is that it couldn't find this file. So let me check that I named it the right thing. Oh, it doesn't, it didn't finish. Oh, I didn't name it the right thing. Okay, um, so what you can do is you go into the script, and the problem is not right there, I don't know why it says it is. It's right here. I didn't add the, another thing that I needed. So, let's just start that over real quick. So, now, this is what's going to happen. See, the music changed. Yeah. So, and then the music stops, obviously, when you get there. So then, and then the music changed again, because, yeah. Okay. So, that's how you do a basic Rempy game. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. I will try to answer all of them. I will be making another tutorial soon. And when I'm done with that tutorial, I'll put the link in the description so that you can go on to the next tutorial to learn how to do even more stuff. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you, uh, please leave a like and subscribe.